Hi everyone, welcome to The Word of One for Friday, July 16th. So the amazing Grace 2.1 is tomorrow. So all those who will be racing at every stop, you're gonna see dramas, you're gonna have activities, it's gonna be incredible. And on Sunday, we're gonna have one service, 10 a.m., both in person and live streamed, where you're gonna have a chance to see the dramas, you're going to be um, participating in worship and dancing and hearing the word, and maybe some superheroes are gonna show up, so please join us either in person or live stream at 10 a.m. this Sunday. And to finish up our Judges series, we're talking about Samuel today. And Samuel was specially selected by God to be sort of the final spiritual and even sort of civil leader before they have a king. And Samuel will actually anoint the first and second kings of Israel, King Saul and King David. And this is the description of Samuel. The Lord was with Samuel as he grew up, and he let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel from Dan to Beersheba recognized that Samuel was attested as a prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word. And Samuel's word came to all Israel. So all this week, we've seen these judges, those who were called by God in this interim period of leadership, and they all had different um, abilities and gifts and gifts of faith, really, that God had given them. Ehud, to have the victory um, in a very risky <laughs> attempt to uh, make sure the king of Moab paid for um, his work against the people of Israel. Uh, you had Gideon, who was very nervous about God's call in his life, but God gave him confirmation of that. Uh, Deborah, who just had such a deep trust that she knew um, that if they were to go out and work against his enemies, that they would be successful. And then we have Samson, who had incredible physical strength, had some struggles, and some of his choices, but in the end, truly desired for the victory to be the Lord's and was part of that in a really significant way. And then Samuel, who is really that prophetic voice in the nation of Israel, Deborah herself was actually also a prophetess, so that prophetic voice and that prophetic word was so important for the people that God put in leadership in Israel, that they would hear from the Lord clearly and speak that word clearly. And that's the same call for leadership in the church today. That's the same call for every believer, is that we would hear the word of the Lord in the scriptures through our connection with the Holy Spirit, and we would speak that word from the Lord. So even though we all may not be a Samuel or a Deborah or an Ehud or a Samson or a Gideon, all of these ways that God is developing us and growing us is to be able to speak forth his word. And may we be people like Samuel, who none of our words falls to the ground, that the words we speak are from God himself and bringing truth and life and good things to those who hear our words. And so that as the words that we speak enter the ears, that they impact people's lives, that they don't just fall to the ground because we're careless with our words, and we spend our time and our energy asking God to cultivate in us the gifts and the abilities that will allow us to lead God's people wherever we're at in the way that he would call us to lead. So we'll see you all tomorrow and Sunday. See you then.